Yeah, we're back. I'm sorry. There's lots of technical issues today. I'm not sure why. I should probably reboot my phone, but um, yeah, I can't do that now. <laughs> um, it's very strange. I haven't had this much, like, since coming back to Japan, the, the streams have always worked surprisingly well. I haven't had much technical issues at all, so I don't know what happened. But, um, Oh, thank you, Brad. Accepting the effort to keep going. <laughs> Appreciate the effort to keep going. Thank you very much. Yeah, I don't know why we have all these technical issues today. But uh, this, was, this, this was definitely a, one of the nicer shrines I've been to in a long time. Oh aggressive crow yeah maybe it's all the tourists coming into Japan jongsing the stream who knows who knows anyway I will walk down to Kitashinagawa station and uh, wrap things up there I guess we have to check out what's up here before we leave this place, right? These stairs looks pretty inviting as well. Yeah, lots of sirens around here. Maybe there's a big hospital or something nearby. I'm not sure. continue the line walk? Uh, I think tomorrow. I think tomorrow. This week has been a little bit eventful but uh, for tomorrow I expect to yeah be able to continue that. Look the stair even continues up here. That means we just also have to continue up here. What an anticlimax! You climb up all these stairs and you're greeted with nothing or, well, an empty flagpole. Yeah, Domino's Pizza, they exist in Japan. Third stream, or fourth, no, this is the third one. So, I've had lots of technical issues today. And it's windy too. So yeah, let's, let's uh, head to Kitashinagawa station and end this miserable day's worth of streaming and uh, hope for a better better technical um how should i say like and let's hope that that everything will work better tomorrow I've seen on some other youtubers that domino's pizza costs like 50 dollars for one pizza no it's not that expensive unless you buy like some crazy mega pizza but pizzas in general are a little bit expensive in Japan, that is true. Well, let's see how much is a Domino's pizza in Japan. Uh, so right now they have, they have some campaign. You can get three, two pizzas 
two medium sized pizzas for 2000 yen or regular size or large size. So yeah, it's not, it's not uh, crazy expensive, but that's, that's quite, that's probably some with some terms and, and the conditions apply. address and lots of that kind of stuff in order to to see the rest of the menu but yeah pizzas are a bit expensive in Japan and they're usually pretty small but uh, not $50 for a pizza maybe 20 25 for like a big pizza with lots of toppings Okay, I'm supposed to follow this street a little bit further. There's a shorten guy here, shopping street, but I'm afraid I don't have time to check that out now. Because now I've just suddenly started running a little bit late. <laughs> I see that you're having the pineapple and pizza discussion in the chat. Those of you who have been around for a while knows that I'm a pro proponent of pineapple on pizza. I like it. I grew up eating what we call Hawaiian pizza in Sweden during the 90s. And that's basically pizza with pineapple and ham. Mm, delicious. Who will be your meeting? So I'm meeting someone who I will take a walk with and uh, that walk will be posted on my channel later. It's not going to be a live walk, but uh, quite an interesting person with lots of experience when it comes to Tokyo. If you want to know more, you just have to wait and keep on following my channel. I wonder if I can walk here. Hope so. Fungus, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for another fun walk, even with Cursed Jonxes. Yes. It's been a very, very cursed walking day today, but uh, glad you enjoyed it anyway. Courtney, people who like pineapple on pizza are known to have good taste. True fact. I totally agree with that. I think it's even uh, scientifically proven. Shrimp on pizza. Yeah, that's good too. Easy to find in Asia. Yeah. Isn't it easy to find that everywhere? Or is shrimp on pizza considered weird or unique in some parts of the world? common in the US. Oh, I see. Huh. Very common in Europe and very common in Italy too. Cute little shop here. That was a little, a somewhat meaningless detour, but uh, whatever. So I'm 
gonna try to have a quick lunch before meeting my acquaintance. Maybe I'll have a pizza. Maybe I should have pizza at that Domino's. You know what? I'm actually gonna do that. I'm gonna have pizza lunch at Domino's. I wonder, do they do eat in? I'm not sure. But anyway, Kita Shinagawa Station is over there. You can see it. So I think it's okay if I end the stream here, right? Or, or should I continue a little bit further? Maybe Domino's is only takeout. Does anyone know? I've never been to Domino's. And yes, I did snap some, some photos. I have my trusty Rico GR hanging around my neck. I did snap some photos on this walk and I will post them on either Twitter or Instagram or both. Uh, the links to my accounts are in the video description. Yeah, now when I think about it, I, I think they're, they're, they're only takeouts. Maybe someone can rewind the stream and watch and if it looked like they had like eat-in tables at the shop I just passed. Michael Samira, the GR finally makes an appearance. I've actually been wearing it on most of my recent walks and I've been showing it off on many of my recent walks too. Yeah, I. It hasn't gotten much love for the last couple of years, but uh, I just rediscovered how great it is and how that it's kind of the perfect camera to hang around your neck when you're streaming because it's very uh, easy to operate with one hand and it's also very quick. Even though my Sony camera is way better technically, but it's heavier, much slower and just a bit more cumbersome. Wow! So many fire trucks here. Pineapple on curry rice. Wow, I've never even heard about that, but now I'm getting intrigued. It sounds kind of tempting actually. I have to say that it sounds tempting. I guess Kita Shinagawa Station should be here somewhere? Not sure where... Okay, the platform is a little bit further down this way. I wonder if there's an entrance here too, on this side. Maybe not. Oops! Also looks kind of tempting, an old school Kisaten, but it looks closed. Sanden. Anyway, Kita Shinagawa Station here. This is where I will leave you today after this very, very problematic day with not one but two complete stream crashes. Anyway, I'm I'm glad that so many of you joined me today. Hope you enjoyed it despite the technical issues. And uh, let's keep our fingers crossed that things will be smoother tomorrow. And here's a kind of unusual vending machine. Or like, not the vending machine itself, it's not unusual. But the selection of products is somewhat unusual. Thank you so much and see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Hello. Auf Wiedersehen. Und matane.